Hi everyone, this is Rick Morgan, your friendly neighborhood comic book scientist, yet again with another question. This time the question is, how long does it take the middle of a comic book to get to the same temperature that you set your press to? So we're going to find out. You're going to see me sort of uh, disappear a little bit on the screen, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, so, so you can see, I have a uh, Tales to Astonish number 50 here, and I am going to put this thermocouple inside of it and I'm going to heat it up and then we're going to see how long it takes the temperature of the inside of this book to get to the same temperature that I have set the press to be which in this case is 160 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll just time it and see and then we'll know. Uh, disclaimer, I'm using one of my metal pressing boards. I'm preheating the bottom of the board so it'll come to temperature presumably quite a bit faster. So hang on boys and girls, here we go. Okay, so we're going to put our we got Lee, a Lee Kirby Marvel masterpiece, no doubt. Tales to Astonish number 50. So, and it's rendered by Steve Ditko, lettered by Sam Rosen Stanley. So this is some classic stuff right here, right? This is, this, but this bad boy needs a lot of love. So this will probably go into my kit, one of the kits I have for, uh, to sell to people to fix books that they can fix themselves. So here we go. This guy is going to go here. We're going to let this, let this fall in our into our press here. It's been preheated, and we're going to put paper underneath it and a board on top of it so we can make it so it kind of be regularly. We're going to see how long does it actually take and how long does it lag behind the timing on our. But now I should buy some more of these thermocouples so we can place them in different areas, and I'll do that in the future. But let's, um, well, I'll start, you know, it's already getting warmer, so I'm going to go ahead and record now because it's getting hot just sitting here. So I'm going to put this board on top of it. Swing this guy over. It's set to 160. Let's see, how long does it take till we get to 160? And let's watch our screen here. And it is recording away. And as it gets to, it's at 126, 127, 128, 29, 130, 131, 32, 33, 34, 35. We're now 140. So and it's been 40 seconds. Fifty. It's been just under a minute. One fifty-three. Slowing down. You can see that on our screen too here. Middle of the book is 157 to 93 seconds. It's almost at 160, it's 158.7. And then we're going to see, why don't we see how long it takes to cool to ambient. We'll just leave it. How long does it take? It's not quite, it's not at 160 yet. It's not, maybe a difference in calibration. But it was about two minutes. So it's not quite getting there on this scale. I'd have to bump it, it didn't quite make it. But I'd say it reached whatever temperature it was getting to, which was 158 in about two minutes. 
So I say we continue this experiment. We turn this thing off and we see how long it takes to get to ambient temperature. What do you guys say? Um, so let's stop this for a moment and let's take a look here. So it looks like it actually reached where it was getting to at about a minute and a half, kind of. So this average here is, um, you know, this, this whole area is averaging, yeah, 158 here. So yeah, that took about a minute and a half to get there. So let's do another experiment. I wanna do another one. Let's do the time it takes to, um, to cool down. So I wanna do this again and um, let's set it up so that it is uh, gonna go for a um, longer amount of time. And um, let's turn off the heat and then see how long it takes to get to ambient. So I won't make you watch the whole thing, but we'll come back and check it out. So let's take a look at what we found here. It took about 90 seconds to make it to temperature here at this point, actually 100 and, two minutes, 120 seconds, or not 90 seconds. Then if that was, and that was, if we look in here closely, you will see that it was this area here. So it took that long for it to come to temperature inside when it was preheated. So this was the preheated one. Then if we look here, how long did it take to get to ambient temperature? We say ambient temperature was, I mean, it stopped running when it got to 90, which still wasn't really quite ambient, but we'll look into that a little bit. That was about 5,000 seconds. So that's a long time. And that was, how long is that? 120? So just, just a little under 5,000 seconds. So, um, that's a long time. It never did quite make it, but we'll see how far we'll get to a little more information here in a second. So 5,000 seconds is about 83 minutes, about an hour and a half to get to ambient, but we are recording again. So let's, I'm doing some more data. I don't know why it's not, um, let's see if we can get it to show up on my screen here. Tell you what, I will start recording over again here in just a moment. So the interesting thing here is that even though this first part took only required about, let's say, you know, I think it got the temperature, I mean, around 150 seconds. So about, a hundred, you know, we're talking about a minute and a half. It's really not, not two minutes, but a minute and a half with the preheated board. This is the preheated one. And it took about 80 minutes. So about you know, an hour and, uh, and a half to um, to cool down to ambient temperature. The interesting thing is upon redoing this without preheating the bottom, it is taking much longer than I anticipated. Here's what it looks like. So, you know, if we started here at 28,807, we're at 29,800 seconds here and it's still not getting the temperature. It is very slowly rising. The It's been at temperature since about a minute in. So the the board itself has been at temperature, the, the, the unit since about here. But the inside of the comic book is only very slowly coming the temperature. And it's not there yet even still. It's only in the one, it's at 145.6 right now, and only very slowly getting warmer. So man, there's a huge difference. So if we take, um, let's see here. So it's at 29,847 now. And if we take that enter and we subtract 28,836. So it is taken, it has been 17 minutes so far and it still is not at temperature yet. So it's still, it is, incredibly longer incredibly longer when you don't preheat if you're well, I mean, again I'm using a heat sink I'm using a metal board in the bottom so by not preheating the bottom one it is essentially not getting the temperature I mean I think it's surely it's gonna eventually get there but not not quickly let's just go let's put it on this scale so we can see a little better uh, oh, same scale um, 
little more out. There we go. It is taking, well, I'm gonna say it's like, a, it's gonna be 10 times as long. I don't have the time today to hang out and watch the whole thing, but we'll get, we'll get a, uh, it's at 146 now. We'll do it later. We'll get the whole, the whole time, the whole temp schedule. So I decided to do another experiment where I don't preheat it. And so the book was not preheated the second time. And the book comes out looking, well, it's certainly flatter. Oops, flatter than it was. Let's get this thermal couple out of there. Yeah, well, it looks better, which wasn't our intention. But we can't, I mean, because we've got to now undo our, we got a terrible spine roll in this book, so we'll fix that later. And lots of water stains, so. We will fix that at some later point, but um, let's look at our data. It's really, it's kind of interesting. So let me, let me switch over to that. Now, if you look at this first one, this first data set, you'll see that we preheated the bottom board and it took about 170, so 100, to reach about 160, I'm calling 159 close enough. It took around 106 seconds. So that's not a lot of time, you know, it's a little less than two minutes. And then I let it cool to ambient, which took, you know, we'll call ambient. It never got there, really, but 5,000 additional seconds. So I hate to be reduced to this, but you can see the two different graphs and how they decay. This is the second one, this one here. So it took a, never got there and it took, you know, about the same amount of time to decay, but of course it took longer to warm up. So, but the first one came much, much quicker. So it's really, I know this is, this is very unsigned. And, professional of me to do this but I don't I can't I'm afraid to close this thing and lose my data so very interesting I mean I think the message here is that you know preheating the bottom board does two things it lets you get to temperature like insanely faster right to, to temperature plus it actually gets you to that temperature I mean we never ever because I mean it, this was of course my book my boards my machine my room my air pressure current all those things are only this is a sample of one, but interesting that we never got there. And it took, you know, it takes a couple hours to decay, but to back to ambient, in either case, that didn't seem to be effective, but we just, without, it shows that, I think it demonstrates that uh, preheating the bottom board gets you where you're going faster. And, you know, he heats the book up you know, uniformly. So uh, anyway, that's a fun little experiment. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Take care. Bye-bye.